This video is an appendix to the third video in the topic on what makes a cargo. In this video we're going to provide a derivation of the second kinematic equation. Just a warning though, this video contains calculus. So if you're terrified of calculus, stop watching now. Okay, so we've said that acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. So we can write that acceleration is equal to dv dt. The derivative of the velocity with time. So we can write this as a dt is equal to dv and now what we're going to do is we're going to integrate both sides. We'll say at time equals 0 the velocity is v0, at time equals t the velocity is v. So this tells us when we integrate this we get a t because we're assuming a constant acceleration to get the kinematic equations and on this side we end up with just v minus v naught. So that is our first kinematic equation. Now to get our second kinematic equation we need to write this as v is equal to a t plus v naught and we need to write v as dx dt. And now what we'll do is we'll multiply both sides by dt so we've got dx is equal to a t plus v naught dt and what we'll do now is we're going to integrate from t equals naught at t equals naught we're at position x naught and at time t we're at position x. So when we integrate this side we get x minus x naught and then when we integrate this side we've got a half a t squared plus v naught t and we have to do that at time t and time naught. So time naught, both these terms will disappear. So this is equal to a half a t squared plus v naught t. And so this tells us that x is equal to x naught plus v naught t plus a half a t squared, which was how we wrote the second kinematic equation, except that this is in the x direction. We wrote it in the y direction. It doesn't matter which direction you write it in. We had y was equal to y naught plus the initial velocity in the y direction, plus a half times the acceleration in the y direction, t squared. As long as this acceleration is in the x direction and this is the initial velocity in the x direction, that one holds in the x direction and this one holds in the y direction. 